Asad Malik from behind the gloves, joined now by the Jackal. Carl, first of all, we are in Manchester. You're no stranger to big fights. Here we are again, IBF world title. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how your psyche is going into this fight? That's good. I'm relaxed. I'm where I need to be. I've had a good camp and my weight's where it needs to be. Um, just getting ready for the fight now. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm where I need to be right now. Carl, like I said, you've been in with massive, huge profile fights. The Santa Cruz, um, now again you're in with uh, Josh Warrington. Does that add any pressure to you going into the fights, knowing obviously such a big fan base, and does it add any pressure to you? There's always, there's always pressure going into big fights, and um, this is a huge fight. Josh Warrington, he's, you know, it's a, an all-British showdown, and he's a world champion. He's seen as the, the new champion and he's full of confidence the minute I'm seen as the guy who was there and wants to get back and it's a huge fight but uh, I'm willing to put it all on the line to win it and, and I think he is too you know I think that I think that he's a tough guy and I think that I think that he'll, he'll be in there for as long as he can be um, but there's always pressure going into fights mm -hmm. but I can handle it and I've, I've handled it before and I can deal with it and uh, I, I think I go as far as saying I thrive off it. Just speaking on that point there, you were saying about obviously Josh really wants it as well, it's going to be a good fight. Um, in training camp, I'm sure with Jamie you've sat down, watched a good few clips. What sort of differences do you see? What sort of weaknesses do you think you can take I, advantage I, I, of Josh? I, I don't want to give too much of the game plan away, but there's there is there's no such thing as a perfect fighter, so everyone has weakness. That you know, obviously includes myself. Yeah. And, um, but everyone has weaknesses, and Josh Warrington obviously has his weaknesses, like I have my own weaknesses, yeah. but I believe that I'm a better fighter than him in every department. I, I tick the boxes ahead of him, and um, it's going to be a difference if I'm switched on and, and carry out the game plan to a T, and I win the fight. Carl, previously you were obviously world champion before this time round. In between, you've had your Luke Jackson and a couple of fights. Mm. Did you think that it would be such a long route to get into no. world title contention? No, again? And, that, and that's, I think, I want to blow smoke up my own arse, but I, I've took a long way around here mm. and I deserve a wee bit of credit for that because, you know, the. The, the fights went, uh, unification fight with Quig, mm. Santa Cruz yeah. win, Santa Cruz loss. I should have been walking straight back into another world title fight, or one fight in a world title fight. I've had to go around the houses, three fights, and to get here, and I think, you know, I'll give myself a wee bit of credit for that, so there's not a chance in hell. I've, I've worked this hard to get myself in the position to fight for a world title, there's not a chance that I'm, I'm letting up on it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this fight. And previously you were saying that you've sort of found a spark again for boxing, you're enjoying it, you're back in the groove now, is that the reason why you think the anticipation, the, the patience you've had to persevere with, you think that's the reason why you've sort of found that I spark? I think so, again? I'm enjoying it, like I, I, you know, you, you look at my interviews over five years ago, six years ago, yeah. I was talking about retiring, turning down a day's retirement, but I'm, I'm not thinking about it now. And, I'm actually hoping to prolong my career as long as possible because I'm enjoying training. I'm enjoying, yeah. I'm enjoying the company, the boys in the gym, the camaraderie, all pushing each other on. It's good crack as well, and I'm just enjoying my life now at the minute as as a boxer, which I'd never really done before until I linked up with Jamie. So um, now I'm, uh, I think it's given me the kick up the backside that I needed, and, and that's. I think you're going to see big performances from here on in. Carl, speaking about patience, there. Obviously, you're fighting this time round for the IBF Red Strap. A man who's sort of got into position, the final eliminator, is Kid Galhad. He got into the fight. Now, obviously, it's no secret he's been wanting that fight for years with yourself, yeah. uh, with Josh Warrington. Providing that you win this fight on Saturday night, are you going to give him a shot because he's mandatory, or are you going to look to unify your I, I would look to unify. My first option would be to fight one of the other champions straight away. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to be involved in big fights, but if I'm forced to fight Kay Galahad yeah. and a unification fight can't be made, of course I'll fight him. I'm not going to forget a fight because Kay Galahad's on the scene and he's my mandatory. Um, 
so we'll, we'll see what happens. But he's not really in, in my in my plans for the future, if I'm being honest. And Carl, um, just finally, have you got any message for the fans that are tuning in? I just uh, if you haven't got a ticket, make sure you watch it on BT. I think it's going to be a, it's a it is a quality build from top to Absolutely. bottom. Absolutely, top quality fights, uh, and uh, everyone's looking to steal the show. Um, I think I think I'm going to steal the show. Joined by the Jackal, Asad Malik from Behind the Goals. Hey, my fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. And we also have a free app available on iTunes and Google Play. So make sure you go ahead and download that. Bye, fight fans.